Leprechaun and welcome back to Asagao Academy. Um, no face cam this week because I look absolutely awful and I feel bad. I feel really, really ill. So uh, we're just going to get straight into it without face cam. Well, oh, right. Uh, last time we uh, kind of almost killed Shane with our fish and chips. Um, <laughs> uh, oh, crap. I'll be right back. Alright, we're back. Sorry, I just needed to uh, sort something out with my headphones. Uh, so yeah, we didn't kill Shane. My retort was a little rougher than I meant, and my smile faded. Sorry, I've been stressed. That doesn't mean you should take it out on your friends. I wonder why he was gone so long. It was just Pepper. Does he shrivel up when he touches Pepper? Like a slug? That's salt! Um, I stuck out her tongue and curled her arms in front of her, like a blend between a T-Rex and a 2,000-year-old mummy. I couldn't help but laugh. With slugs, it's salt, not pepper. Damn it, Ma, you're supposed to be smart. Okay, fine. It was like a snail, not a slug. Happy? N no, still wrong. Uh, she curled up again. I didn't even try to correct her this time. I had to apologise to Shane as soon as possible. Today was the only day, and would probably be the only day, where I would even want to work in a group, so just so I could run over there and get it over with. But the class ended up being a silent lecture, as boring as ever. I actually kind of like boring lectures, because it's, uh, I, I don't know, it just means I get to kind of take my mind off whatever I'm thinking of. Hana? Hana Mizuno? I snapped out of my stupor. The class went completely silent. Uh, yes? You're needed in the front office. I froze. No one ever got called to the front office in the middle of class. My spicy criminal... Had my spicy criminal ways finally been revealed? I don't understand why they couldn't just wait till after class, but you're free to go. I sighed heavily and shrugged. Is anyone even running this school anymore? No! No, it's not. Hannah, gather your things. There are five minutes left of class, so just go to lunch after you finish your little trip down the hall. I quickly packed up. As I passed her desk, Miss Shizuka licked her thumb and picked a sheet of paper off the desk. Homework. See you tomorrow. Someone's pissed her off. The second I took the paper from her, she continued her lecture from where she left off. Ey. I went to the office, ready to admit my wrongdoing to the headmaster or whoever would be there to scold me. I gave the slip of paper to the girl who was for some reason working the desk. Oh, kak Kakasu. Hi, Hannah. You left your ID card in the library. We needed to confirm it was you picking it up. Don't want it to get into the wrong hands. She stopped a sentence on an odd pitch, as if they already were in the wrong hands. I'd like to say a huge weight was lifted off my shoulders, but Shane-related guilt stunk, still hung over my head. Kakusu held up my ID and examined it, then looked at my face. Scanning. Uh... Kakusa emit emitted an odd beeping noise. Swear this girl's a robot! Here you are. She handed me my card and signed her name off the, on the paper, as she did, so she squinted at me. You know, you look familiar to me. I do. Scanning databases. Her eyes shined. I took an uncomfortable step back, wondering whether to run away. A sudden look of realisation crossed her face. You are friends with Shane, are you not? Y yes I am. Why? Kakusu shook her head. If you are friends with Shane, then the information should remain classified. What? Why? Classified. I huffed angrily, but Kakusu didn't seem to notice. You're good to go. Take care of your card and enjoy lunch. This girl creeps me out. I said thanks and held my ID card between my fingers. A lot of worrying all for this. Oh well, time to get to lunch. I was completely unable to find Shane during lunch. Apparently, despite being in the class, his stomach still wasn't completely settled. The smell in the air made him feel nauseous, which meant I didn't have a chance to talk to him. After class ended, I tried to get to him, but the hustle and bustle of students blocked the way. Shane put on his bag and left the room before I'd even got halfway across. Those were the perks of sitting near the door. I wasn't about to start talking to him in his dormitory. So about to stalk him to his dormitory, so instead Mai and I headed to the library as to study as planned. As we walked, I held my ID and just smiled, just like in my picture. Look what I lost. That was it? Aw, oh, how disappointing. 
Don't get mad at me, but I thought it would be funny if I saw you in handcuffs being pushed into a police car. Thanks, Mai. I had my phone ready to take an angsty picture of you and everything. It would have been badass. Okay. Mai looked off into the day dis distance, daydreaming. I was fine with being the target of her felonious fantasies, as long as she didn't actually try to make me do anything. <gasps> oh yeah! What? She snapped back into reality and grabbed my arm excitedly. They were talking about you. I'm sorry. Who? What? Norma was right before lunch. As soon as class was over, John started talking to Shane. Pretty loudly, I might add, about how you liked him. Oh, crap! They not? I mean, what did they say? What did Shane say? Come on, Hannah. Everyone knows it. You've been doing so many things for him. They were saying the exact same thing. Shane just kept denying it. He didn't even say anything else. He didn't say anything else, but no. Ah! Oh, there he is. He's standing right in front of the library. What? What am I supposed to say? Why is he here? My. Thanks. My. Great. Fantastic. She vanished. I would receive no help. Great. Shane gave a small wave as I approached. Was he... He was waiting for me, right? Oh, crap. Hey. I stopped in front of him. Before you say anything, I just want to say I'm so, so, so sorry for making that fish for you. I really didn't think it would be that spicy. I've been worrying about it nonstop since I thought I made you really sick. I suggested I visit you, you in your dorm, but that didn't go so well last time, and I thought I would make you angrier than you already were, so... Whoa, okay. First, your fish do did not make me sick. Jared gave me his cold. I didn't want to give it to anyone else. Second, it was pepper. It's not going to kill me. I'm not a snail or whatever my has been saying. <laughs> and just like that, all my problems were solved. You're really fine? No internal bleeding or anything? <laughs> this is like when I slipped over. One of my, I was on my way to my friend's house and I slipped over on some ice. And at first I couldn't move. I texted my friend like, hey, can you come get me maybe? And apparently when I got to her house eventually, apparently she thought I died. So thanks. She knows who she is if she watches this. I didn't read that. He smiled. A real smile. Holy shit. But that's not what I want to talk to you about. I'm in an art class and we need to have a full portrait done by next week. I was wondering if you'd be my model again. His hands were in his pockets. He wasn't looking at me. Nothing I wasn't used to. I almost instantly agreed, just because it was Shane, but my discomfort outweighed the impulse. Well, I don't know. I wasn't the most confident of my looks. Modelling for practice was one thing, but an actual portrait to be seen by the whole of art class made me worry. It'll only be a few hours, any time you're free. I guess I do kind of owe you for what I did. Yeah, you tried to kill me. So you'll do it? Okay! I was about to say yes, but then I actually started thinking about it. No! I don't owe you anything. Well, I didn't mean it like that. You've been mean to me since I've got here. I've tried to do nice things, but it didn't have any effect, did it? You're still mean to me, so why should I do more for you? Oh no, it was a joke. No, I tried to kill you? Why didn't you ask some other girl to do it then? Shane was quiet for a few moments, then mumbled an excuse I wasn't in the mood to hear. It's just that it's a school assignment, and your hair... What about it? It's weird? Suspicious? Never mind. Now it's never mind. Whatever. Ouch. <laughs> oh, I gave him no chance to respond, heading into the library when my eagerly waited. Is everything alright? You're looking kinda... tomato-y. What? Yes, everything's fine. Let's just study. <sighs> oh, everything hurts. I didn't have any contact with Shane until the next day at lunch. They were serving bacon stuffed turkey wraps. It wasn't the kind of thing I'd usually go for, but beggars can't be choosers. I grabbed a chain and went to the back of the line. In seconds, Shane lined up behind me. Back. He didn't say anything or look at me. Instead, a thick tension throttled the air between us. It was a little much for me to get angry with him after he get forgave me for setting his mouth on fire. Maybe I was too quick to anger. Maybe that was unreasonable. I wanted to apologise, but I didn't want to bring it back up. I felt like it would only make things worse. Shane sighed behind me and my thoughts trailed back to his offer. Modelling for him for the first time was fun. I'll be a bit terrifying, but 
Maybe I could put the fear behind me. It was to help him with his project, after all. Maybe he would actually start trusting me. Yeah, right. As if that was going to happen. I know you didn't give me bad food on purpose. Thank you for doing such a nice thing. <laughs> okay, you all right there, Mr. Robot? Anyway, I've been wanting to ask you to model me for again ever since the flower festival. I placed my tray under the glass, and a smiling cafeteria worker spooned me some steamed asparagus. What the fuck? Who serves that at a school? Seeing my non-reaction, Shane changed tactics. I know you're peeved at me, and I'm sorry. The turkey wrap was placed on my tray, and after grabbing a glass of chocolate milk, I headed for the usual table. Shane grabbed his glass and jogged to catch up with me. Of course, by divine intervention, we were the first to reach the table. Alone. I was trapped. Well, frick. So, will you model for my project? My mouth keeps hitting the microphone. Hannah, at least say something. I looked away. How should I respond? Ooh. Now, I saw a thing online that said you shouldn't let him walk over you. So that's what we're going to do. We're not going to let him walk over us. Don't use me. He narrowed his eyes. Why would you say that? You haven't liked me for all this time, but now because of my hair you want to draw me. I chose you for a reason, but that's not... Whatever, fine by me. Ugh! Shane turned half away from me, and I picked up my food. Why would he ask to draw me if he hated me so much? Why would he specifically mention my hair if he hated it so much? The silence stretched longer between us. It was almost like... Like he was trying to make up for insulting me by calling my hair beautiful. <sighs> Good grief. I, I didn't say I wasn't going to. Of course I'll be your model. Glad you decided on something. He took a deep chug of his glass, apparently, so he wouldn't have to say anything else. But he also shifted in, my chair in his chair to face me. At least that was a good sign. S so should I be, like, wear makeup or something? Do my hair? I've never done this before. You're fine as you are. Okay. C cool, I guess I'll see you tomorrow morning before class. I had no idea where else we would meet, and since I usually... Since I knew he usually came early, it seemed like the least awkward place. Neutral ground. Yes, bring your best face. Hey guys, what's going on? Nothing, don't worry about it. Look at that blush. Oh. Nick, Paul and Josh all joined us at the table, smug smiles on their faces. Nothing, eh? Nothing. For some reason, and Paul started laughing. He launched into an explanation of some kind of petition for Shane to do more artwork for his campaign. You did the art for Paul's campaign pictures? Of course, who else would do it? <laughs> Shane was really good at drawing, if he did those. Suddenly, anxiety gripped my heart. Tomorrow morning loomed large before me. I was both thrilled and terrified. I stood in front of the classroom that morning, heart pounding. My hair was freshly washed, as nice as I could make it, and my face slightly dusted with makeup. My uniform neatly pressed. We're gonna save. We're gonna save, thank you, computer. Unexpected profession. Ooh. Actually, um, I'm gonna call the episode a little short, obviously, because I'm not feeling very good. Talking is just... Everything's not great. So, um... Yeah, we're going to end it there. Thank you all very much for watching. Uh, sorry for not uploading yesterday. Uh, cleaning the house just got... Uh, it took a long time because I had to go through all my books. And I have a lot of books. Um, so yeah, Mermaid Swamp should continue next week. Uh, so yeah, I'll see you all then for that. Bye-bye.